Hey everybody, it's Matt, and today I'm gonna to show you how we spice up our sparkler exit photos a little bit. Everyone loves sparkler exit pictures, but what most people don't know is largely the images you see online have a little bit of uh, Photoshop magic applied to them before they're posted or, or put out. So we're gonna show you just how to do that right now. So let's jump right into it. Um, I, I did everything in Lightroom, so I'm just gonna right click and edit in Adobe Photoshop. Give it a second to open. All right, now the key to doing this and what most people don't realize is you can get these overlays off. I get them off of Etsy. You could probably even get free ones online somewhere or just save them off of Google. But you get these overlays that are specifically made for something such as sparklers. You grab one, drag it on. Um, I'm gonna expand this a little bit here. Boom, enter, and then all you gotta do is put the blend mode to screen. Putting your blend mode, blend mode, if you're not familiar, to screen removes all the black and leaves everything else, creating a beautiful overlay effect. So just like that, we already have a much better image with, uh, we have a little bit of an issue because the border's still there. So there's two ways to get rid of it. You could, number one, you could just drive this out a little bit longer, match the si same size of the image. The way I prefer to do it, if I like the spot that the sparkles are in, um, I'll hit brush, I'll put a layer mask on, and then I am free to paint away those edges and get a little bit more fine-tuned. Soften those edges up a little bit. Just try to make it look as little manufactured as possible. So then another trick, if, you, if it's still a little bit too much even after taking out the edges, sometimes you can come into the opacity and bring that down a touch. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it up today. So, okay, so that's the first way to do it. If you're looking at this image and you're saying, that's still not enough sparkle for me, you can do another really fantastic thing, which is you grab a overlay, and I look for one that really has a uh, good sparkle. Here we go. All right, now I see this sparkle right here. I'm circling it with my mouse. That's really what I'm gonna hone in on here. So I am first gonna make a layer mask. Second, I'm gonna paint off everything else. I just want that one piece. Almost there. And then, oops. And then I'm gonna make that a screen. All right. Stay with me here. And then you can literally put this on the end of someone's sparkler. And it looks like their sparkler is really popping off. So that's another great way to add a little bit of something to those sparkler exit shots. It's tough to actually make it look incredible in camera. It's just the way that the sparklers capture. There's times where I will go through an entire image and I will put fake sparkles on the end of every single sparkler in the image. That's pretty in depth, uh, so I don't do it for every image. And if I know I'm gonna do that, I limit how many I'm gonna deliver so that I can nail it for a couple and do it perfectly rather than doing a half quality job on a bunch of pictures. But um, it's as easy as that. And then, uh, then I hit Control Save. That sends it right back into Lightroom and makes a new virtual copy. And just like that, you've got a beautiful sparkler exit photo. Thanks for checking out this video. If you liked it, feel free to drop a comment or a like, or if you have some other methods that you love, feel free to tell us about it in the comments below. This has been Matt with Forte Films and Stills. Follow us on Instagram at Forte MKE. We have another couple of videos dropping soon. We're gonna put out a bunch more tutorials just like this, so stay tuned and we'll see you on the next video. Ooh, I try.